So we've got two ends of the golf club. We've got the club head end and the grip end. And what if I told you that lots of your poor shots, your inconsistency and potentially your lack of distance could be down to the fact that you've been focusing on the wrong end of the club all this time. Well, I'm gonna to explain to you what I mean by that and I'm gonna show you how this drill can help you improve that and ultimately hit much more solid golf shots. So what do I mean by that? Well, obviously we do have two ends of the golf club. We have the end over here, which is going to hopefully with any luck, hit the golf ball and we've got this end here which is our only point of contact with the golf club that's where we place our hands and where we think about or where we put our focus can hugely influence the way we swing the golf club and I'm going to explain to you exactly what I mean by that and I'm going to share with you a drill that you've already seen which I've used with so many of my students which have seen them gain some really really positive results but before we get into that, if you're new to our channel, I would love you to become part of the channel. It is free to subscribe. Uh, there is a link somewhere around here, probably down below. And when you click on that, if you just hit the little bell icon as well, that just means that you'll be notified each time I do release a video. And I really believe these videos can help you unlock your best golf, play some better golf, and basically just have a little bit more fun when you're out on the golf course. So the video today, let's go through what we mean by that. You will have to bear with me, but this, as I say, this is, might not be something you've done on a regular basis, but I'm sure you can sort of uh, allude to this and kind of make this sense in your head. Imagine you're driving a speedboat, and in that speedboat, there's a bit of rope behind, and you've got somebody in one of those kind of rubber dinghies. Now, your job is to put as much speed into that dinghy as you can to try and fly that person out, and we've seen the videos of that. So what happens is you drive your speedboat at whatever speed it is, and you don't have a huge amount of control over that dinghy. You can't actually physically move it, but what you can do is you can change the direction that you're moving. So what you would do is you drive your speedboat and at some point you'd make a pretty sharp turn and that sharp turn as you went round the corner would actually put some energy and some speed into that dinghy and it would fly out with more speed and the person would hopefully fly out and you'd all have a laugh and it'd be caught on camera hopefully. So that analogy we can use in the goal sink but that doesn't work if we focused on this club head end. So let me bring in this bag and I'm going to explain, I'm going to show you how that would apply to the golf swing. I'm going to take this golf club, I'm going to hold it in one hand, just my left hand, and I'm going to hover it in the middle of this bag. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a, a kind of rough posture and I'm going to make a little backswing where, yeah, I've got a little rotation of the clubs on, on a certain angle. From here, if I said to somebody, right, just get that golf club to hit that bag, this is when we'd start to see the kind of club head going this way, trying to, you know, get that club into that bag as quickly as they can. It's not the best way. Here's your speedboat. Here's the dinghy. What we're going to get you to do here is feel like all you do is you focus on this grip end. And as you're focusing on that grip end, you can be a little bit aware of what your hand is doing as well. Notice the logo on my glove, that tailor-made logo. As I start to move the grip down in towards that bag, that tailor-made logo starts to point directly out in front of me, over roughly towards that camera. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to take this grip end and I'm going to move that grip end towards me and sort of up in this direction here. So I'm going to move it around in this area here. And what's going to happen as I do that is that speedboat, if you like, is hugely changing its direction, which is going to put some energy into that club head. That's the dinghy, it's going to fly out and we're going to get that speed. So as soon as I put myself in this position and my focus is on that grip end, sorry, my fault, that club head end, that's a lot of effort. And that bag has moved maybe six inches and it's taken me three or four attempts to hit that in order to do that. Just watch how much energy and how much speed and how much power I can create doing it in a slightly different way. I'm going to move the grip towards the bag and then I'm going to pull it up and into me. Big difference. That felt to me like I didn't put as much energy in, but clearly the club had more speed when it hit the bag because it kind of rolled over. Now what you will have noticed there is in order to help me do that, I was using some of my body rotation. My body rotation is going to allow me to move the grip and the hands into this delivery area. And then I'm gonna take that tailor-made logo and I'm basically gonna move it from directly in front of me towards the target. And what that's doing is that's changing the direction 
that the grip is moving in. Let's try that again. So I'm going to put myself in this position here. I'm only going to focus on the grip end. I'm going to move it. So much more power doing that. So much more power. Now, I'm not left-handed. I'm right-handed. Many of you will be. But I can move that bag over quite comfortably doing that. If I put both hands on, so theoretically I've now got more strength on the golf club, with both hands trying to accelerate that club head, again, that's a lot of work. I'm feeling there's a lot of effort and I don't actually get much gain from it. So what the best players are doing and those golfers who have those golf swings that you, you watch and you wonder how they hit it so far with such little effort, it's very often that they're just very efficient in how they're driving their speedboat, if you like. They're not focusing on the dinghy, they're focusing on the speedboat. And if we can do that in our goal swing, we can work the speedboat down into the delivery area, and then we can start to turn that corner really sharply. We start to be able to create some massive speed down at impact. And the key thing is it generally does feel relatively effortless. Now it's not, there's a lot of forces being applied through my body and through the grip, but it's more kind of what it feels to you as the golfer. Now, I'm using this impact bag here. Um, you can do something similar, just get a little bit creative, but I'd love you to just have a little go at this little exercise. Just put the club here and then start to work on what those feelings are in order for you to get that club kicking out. I'm not focusing on the club head end, that's really important. Now, just before we get you to do a little exercise with the ball, there's another added bonus to this. Watch what happens when I take this delivery position where that club head, or that club face, I should say, is clearly pointing way over in front of me. If a ball was to come off that club face, it would go nowhere near my target. But watch what happens as I start to make these little movements down into the ball. Well, the club starts to line up with that bag really nicely. Again, club lines up with the bag. Club lines up with the bag. Club lines up with the bag. Now notice I've now got my thumb off. I can even take my index finger off and that little movement, guess where the club points? Directly at my target. Guess where the club points? Directly at my target. That club face is going from this open position to a square position and I'm not even having to think about it. I'm not standing here throwing the club head down and then having to manually twist it with my hands to try and get it to point to the right place. I'm not thinking about turning the toe over to get the ball to come back into the fairway. I'm not doing any of that because the movement of that grip, the correct movement of that grip will do two things. It will energize the club and it will cause the club to kick out and square up naturally. Such a better way to play golf because it's happening through natural forces, not you trying to manipulate the club head, twist the club, twist the club face to make it go straight. A lot of theory. How do we apply that? Well, hopefully, you know, job number one is that you've kind of understood that, you've got that concept and it's clear in your mind, that's really important. So the next little job I'd have you do is take an address and I've got myself a mid iron here with a ball teed up and I would have you just make a little backswing and just try and find a sort of delivery position. The key thing that you need to be aware of here is that club head is slightly behind my hands, that's really important. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a little body turn this way and I'm just gonna bring those hands Notice how those hands are coming, what I feel, slightly into my body. I'm focusing on that logo away from me towards the target. And I'm holding this club extremely lightly. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to do that a couple of times and just let the club head kick out to the ball. 25 yards, maybe 30 yards. Not looking at this stage to add speed. I'm looking to get that same sensation of suddenly at around about this part of the goal swing, I make a movement which feels like the club head kicks out. That's what I'm after, I'm after that feel. Okay, show that again into the position. Rehearse it, rehearse it, bring the grip into me. And suddenly those balls are going really nice and straight. And again, I'm not thinking about squaring the club face at all. I'm letting it happen naturally. All you have you do is take that little exercise and just start to build up the speed. So the same thing would apply. I'm not going to go full speed here, but I'm going to go a little backswing, focus on the grip, move the grip correctly through the golf ball. And again, it's effortless. The club head has got some speed there. It's got some efficiency. It's got some kick out to the ball. And it feels for me like it's relatively easy. Now, like I said, it's not. There is 
force is being applied and there's energy going in, but it's not hard work. That's the key thing. And all I'd have you do is just start to get more comfortable with that and then just start to build the speed, start to build the length of the swing, maybe go back to the little exercise to get the feels correct. But I guarantee you, if you can start to focus on this end of the golf club and stop worrying about this end, you can unlock some better golf, some more consistent golf. And what we've just demonstrated is a far better way to deliver that club to the ball and it's repeatable because you're not relying on your timing and your flipping of the club face, which so many golfers out there are doing. So think of a speedboat, think of a dinghy. You're the speedboat, don't focus on the dinghy. The dinghy will arrive at the right place. You just need to make sure that the speedboat moves in the correct way. And hopefully we've explained what that is and how to do it in this video. Thanks for watching. Usual stuff is down below. There's a comments box down there. would love to get your thoughts. Like button if you did that video. Big thanks if you give it a thumbs up. And as we said, we will hopefully, lost my train of thought, we'll hopefully see you back here again soon for a future video because I really believe this can help you play some better golf. Thanks for watching.